This is the API dashboard. It's accessed by clicking the dashboard button at the top of the screen. From here, we can see all the runs that were previously run in a project. We can see whether they passed or failed, which downloader they used, how many failures there were, how many warnings there were, and time and date. So the logs view shows us basic pass-fail statistics. If we click into the metrics view, then we can see latency and fetch. We can still see the downloader and we can still see the status, but this view is more specifically pointed at performance. Finally, availability shows us just generalized uptime information about the endpoints. Going back to metrics for a moment, if we click into any of these individual spaces, we'll see this bell here, we can create a monitor from each of these metrics calls and determine whether we want that to fire off of latency or fetch. So if we say latency and 200 and call this latency 200, what's going to happen there is this is going to create an alert anytime the latency of this endpoint exceeds 200 milliseconds. If we click over to the API quality dashboard, we'll see a month by month view of how our API endpoints are actually performing. So April 2018, we have 9,089 successes, 334 failures. Uh, we can compare that against March and February. And if we scroll down in this window, we'll actually see these failure trends populating. So in the case of this test three Marvel test, this test is actually succeeding 32% of the time more often than it was in the previous month. Similarly for the Uber test, 16.57. For this retail test, we're actually failing 0.4% more. If we click up here and switch the view from functional to performative, we'll see a similar kind of statistical line, but with regard specifically to response time. So in this case, this API is responding 28.13% more slowly than it was in previous months, whereas these are responding about 70% faster. So that, that would be one of those cases where a positive result is worth taking a second look at. But that's the API quality dashboard.